nothing speaks to the phrase home field advantage like having the fans on your side. Our Gabe Glassman was over at Alabama a and earlier today where fans got to interact with athletes one-on-one. -on -one. Big energy! It wasn't just the women's basketball team bringing the big energy to Alabama a and fan day. Bulldog supporters showed out ready for the upcoming athletic season. Where everybody get a chance to meet the student athletes. We're very excited to meet the fan base and engage with them today. This was a big opportunity for fans of the maroon and white to interact with some of their favorite teams and players. It's vital to, uh, to have the one-on-one -on -one time in order to, to get in front of someone, put a name with a face, and kind of make personalize it, if you will. Former a and football player and coach Newt Rockney Walker knows all about how great having home field advantage is. You have that 12th man or whatever the case may be, it's, it's a heck of a, a lot to have, a, have those people behind you in your corner. Current athletes and coaches talk about how important the fans are when it comes to game-changing moments. Volleyball is a game of momentum, so when we have the fans out and hype, we're more likely to win. Making a lot of noise when we're on defense, supporting us when we're on offense, we really vibe off the fans, like it really motivates us. When fatigue hits uh, and you need a play, it's always the energy because we do know that positive energy is contagious. For senior running back Donovan England, the energy fans bring every game has made an impact on him since the start of his journey. Since literally it's been important. Even with college, I feel like it's the biggest because it's a lot of fans. A lot of fans come out there. And if there is one message these athletes share with their fans. Go! Soon enough, AM Bulldog fans will be packing the stands here at Lewis Cruz Stadium for the home opener, which is set for September 7th against Kentucky State. In Huntsville, I'm Gabe Glassman, Fox 54 News.